What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Taff Cynix, and today I'm coming at you with some Yu-Gi-Oh! news today. So, as you may have seen uh, coming up on Twitter, uh, there's a tweet that's been circulating about the new ban list coming from the Yu-Gi-Oh! underscore TCG uh, account. And uh, a lot of people were skeptical at first of it because uh, most people saw it from like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! news channel, and it definitely... Uh, like the ban list looks fake is the problem. <laughs> Um, it seems like it looks like one of those custom ban lists that you see, and we'll talk about the ban list here in a second. Uh, but there were some issues with it when it when it first dropped. Uh, some of the problems with it were the text, and it's some of the problems that I have some of the problems that I have with it uh, outside of the choices on the ban list, uh, which again we'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, just some things to talk about here. So when they first posted the ban list. Or when they first posted it, it was posted on uh, the N the NA version and the EU version, and this is a post from the Yu Gi Oh News TCG, but it's directly copy pasted from the European uh, or uh, yeah the European version of the Twitter, where it says the decision to postpone the effective from date for the new forbidden and limited list in other regions was to give the players some more time to update their decks before the next major event. Uh, it, in this case, the French Open on 2104, which means April 21st, which seems incredibly weird to me considering that we have a YCS coming up in a few days, and for some reason we're going to have this ban list tomorrow. Uh, in a, like effective tomorrow, which just seems really awkward and disingenuous for Konami to do. It really feels completely out of touch with their tournament organizers and everything. So, uh, j just pointing that one out there. Now to go over the list itself, uh, it's really easy. So we have four cards being forbidden, uh, and as you can see on screen here, it talks about the effective from dates bet uh, difference between North uh, North America and Latin America, uh, the difference between them and EU, Middle East, Africa, and Oceania. Um, and this is one of the reasons why it looks so fake. Like, not just the setup, but the, the stuff that's on it. It just looks wrong. But it's apparently real, so here it is. Link Karibo is banned. Baron de Flor is banned. Borolo Savage Dragon is banned. And Summon Limit is banned. Uh, we're banning Summon Limit, which is a weird choice of a Floodgate ban, but I mean, considering that some decks are using it just to be able to play the game, it seems really awkward that we're banning it. But hey, Link Revo, Barone, and Borload are technically Snake Eyes hits. We're just not going to hit any Snake Eyes cards, because God forbid. Uh, we want to sell those sets, obviously, right? And then moving on to the limited list, five cards are coming off of the list, uh, off the forbidden list and going on to the limited list. So the first one being Arc Nemesis Protos, Title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, Thunder Dragon Colossus, Magispector Unicorn Karin, Chicken Game, and Anti-Spell Fragrance. Uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance being the new addition to the limited list. The other five were all cards that were forbidden and moved to limited. Uh, Chicken Game and Karin, I don't really have too many problems with. Title, I'm happy about. Honestly, the Dragon Rulers coming off were, you know, long overdue. But Protoss and Thunder Dragon Colossus coming off the list, uh, or coming off the Forbidden to Limited list, was something that I think is uh, abhorrently wrong with the idea of the game. So one of the key problems that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! players tend to have, at least in my experience, is that everybody complains about floodgates? Uh, key key uh, key issue right now. Summon limits banned, right? Um, and we're limiting anti spell fragrance. We have Gozen Match, Tikaboo, and Rivalry all at one. Uh, are all limited to one. So we're hit, we hit every floodgate. Imperial Order is banned. Van, uh, Vanity's emptiness is banned. It seems that every flood, uh, floodgate that exists needs to get hit. Um, but for some reason, whenever you give the floodgates uh, legs or whenever you make them as monsters, they're okay. Outside of Barrier Statue. Um, we, we, for some reason, whenever they're trap cards, and completely unsearchable trap cards, mind you, they are completely, like, they're limited, they're banned, and then as soon as they're monsters, which gives them searchability and 
access. Like, technically, every monster was, a monster is searchable through Small World if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to hit that niche. But um, I mean, especially something like Protoss and Colossus is an extra deck monster with a free summon by just tributing a thunder as long as you use a thunder effect in hand. Do we do we not know what Nemesis Corridor is? It it just it screams that like people just got their way eventually, and we're back to basically the indignity of Toss format. I. Personally, I have an issue with Toss format. I don't like it. I didn't find it fun. I think Thunder Dragons as an archetype are cool. Colossus ruined the archetype, basically, in my opinion. Um, and Protoss, specifically, is one of those things that was really unfun to play against when it was when it was in Sword Soul. And honestly, them losing Barone, it doesn't change the fact that they still have Protoss. So it's just another one of those uh, cards that now we have to worry about Snake Eyes being able to play Protoss, considering that Nemesis Flog, which is one of the ways that we get to Protoss, is a fire pyro monster. Did we did we just forget about that? Like everybody really wanted this, apparently, right? Uh, and Chicken Chicken Game's cool. We might make Striker playable again now that we have Engage, uh, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, changed. But I don't think that the game is healthier with this Forbidden and Limited list. I think, if anything, Snake Eye is going to keep dominating, and then if any way to fit something like Colossus into your deck, as long as you can Turbo Colossus, it's literally just going to be Snake Eye Thunder Dragon, and I don't like this format at all. Uh, not that the deck will be combined or anything, it's it's more of Snake Eyes and Thunder Dragons are going to be the two decks that I, you see and like maybe like Dark Warrior in a minute, because we're going to talk about that in the semi-limited stuff. But it's just, with Anti-Spell Fragrance and stuff like that out of the picture, it's really, really not good, in my opinion. Um, the next one uh, being uh, the semi-limited list is just two cards went to two. Uh, Delicious went from one to two. And or Pearly Delicious Memory, and so did Armageddon Knight. Uh, Armageddon Knight going the two is interesting, and in light of Orcus stuff coming off the uh, coming off the list, Harpoor, as well as uh, stuff like uh, stuff like Colossus coming the one, is really interesting. Um, we're going to see in a second again in the stuff that got unlimited. This is going to be uh, weird with the format, but Delicious going to two is very interesting. It means that uh, you're going to have a little more consistent uh, Aprilly Noirs on turn 1, or Aprilly Noirs on turn 1, so it's... I don't think it's bad. I think it's for I think of anything, Aprilly getting a little bit of a boost might be good for the game, but I don't know. Uh, and then, lastly, we have the things that went to 3. <laughs> so we have Destiny Hero Malicious to 3, Harpor, uh, Orca, Orcus Harporgus to 3, Speed Roy Terratop to 3, and Sky Striker in Mobilize Engage went to three. Now Engage and Heratop going to three, we kind of saw that, you know, saw that coming eventually. Uh, Harpoor going to three, right from one to three, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Orcas. I think most, like like I said earlier, most stuff of Toss format, I'm not a fan of. Um, but you know, it, it's a little more interesting than Colossus, but. Uh, this in here, malicious coming to three is another thing for the dark warrior stuff that I talked about earlier. Um, heroes get a little bit better, and then anything that plays malicious is just a teeny bit better. Uh, there might be some sort of tier limit list where you could play multiple malicious. So like uh, tier uh, tier hero might be an actual deck because uh, like the uh, this in here uh, this in here dangerous. Uh, as well as stuff like Denier and um, stuff like Beatrice uh, being able to be played. But anyway, guys, that is the ban list and my opinions about it. Um, I personally think that this ban list is not very good. Uh, I think that this ban list for the game is unhealthy, but that's just my opinion. Now, like I said in previous videos, I have a Discord for the channel, if you want to check it out. The invite will be in the description. Uh, feel free to come and tell me your comments and your ideas about the ban list. Tell me how wrong I am, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, I personally don't like 
Colossus, though you might absolutely love Colossus and want to and love seeing it thrive. Uh, also, if you guys want, most of my videos are uh, only made possible because of the partners uh, that I have, such as Gem Accessories. So feel free to use my code TeddyFurry10. Uh, while at checkout and it will save you 10% off your order. Uh, recently they had the Sailor Moon deck box and if, uh, saving the 10% off got you $8 off which makes it basically free shipping. Uh, I personally really love the Gem Tech accessories. Uh, I use their charity deck box on pretty much everything that I have and I have a lot of their sleeves so and they're really nice designs. Uh, so. If you, if you want some nice uh, accessories, feel free to go use that code. Uh, sorry, my cat jumped on my lap. And uh, please have a wonderful day. Thanks you for showing up. Peace.